Okay, well, this is my first audio commentary, so bear with me. Um, our clan is Thunderbugs. We are in a war. We just cleared 15 bases, 100%. Uh, took a lot of strategy. Uh, the team we were playing wasn't super great, but they weren't half bad. Um, Warlog puts them at 28 and 25. Ours is 17 and 8, fairly new. But we've only had one more where we actually got 100% versus KZ Almaty. Um, anyway, uh, what we ran into in this war was they had a lot of Town Hall 8s that were pretty decent levels. Like, just about max Town Hall 8s. So, this one had. Three level six air defense. Again, actually, sorry, that was some fives, I think. Yeah, they're all fives. Fives on this one. So, what we were looking at is our clan had two town hall nines and a town hall ten in here. <clears throat> so, what our strategy was, was to have our number three, who is pretty good at attacking Town Hall 8s, because he's fairly low level Town Hall 9, but not very good at Town Hall 9s yet, so we usually use him for clearing tough Town Hall 8s. So we had him clear 4 and 5. They didn't go perfectly smooth, but not bad. We had our 6 attack enemy 6 and 7. They were a, a level 4 air defense mixed in. And then on my main account, which is my original account, I attacked 8 and 9, which had 3 level 5s. So by going this route, we had a Town Hall 9 clear 4 and 5. A Town Hall 8 cleared 6 and 7, a Town Hall 8 cleared 8 and 9. It uh, allowed us to clear the top 10 with basically 5 bases pretty well. Um, with my Town Hall 9, I cleared number 3, which was the 3 level 6 air defense. So it was just a double zap quake and attack nearest the remaining air defense, pretty easy attack. Um, and then our one attack to 100%, our one attack number one, and got roughly about 70%. So I attacked number one afterwards and his attack gave me some info and I ended up clearing it. So here's a replay of the attack on number three by me. The reason for showing this is um, a lot of people struggle for some reason with clearing a Town Hall 8 with a Town Hall 9. This should be a really easy attack with dragons. So, if you've got your dragons up to level 4, that is. So, I just put down my king and queen to clear a little path on the right side. One dragon on the left to clear a little bit of a path. And we'll just go two times speed. And everything's going right at that one air defense, so it's just overwhelmed. There's nothing it can do. Behind the air sweeper, air sweeper gets what one, two shots in. That's it. So as you'll see, a lot of dragons left. There's no reason to have two or three dragons left at the end. This attack, I ended up having I think nine dragons left. I did not carry uh, level six balloons in my clan castle. No one was on to give me those, so. Just took a dragon from my alt account, which is a level 3 dragon. I think he's, you can see him there on the right side. So really easy clear. And like I said, our number 1 attacked their number 1. And uh, what he did was he attacked from the top, and there was a couple bombs right up there by the clan castle. So I knew about that going in, so I took a couple extra wall breakers so I could try to trigger. I don't think they actually end up triggering, but I put my golems close enough that the golems took them anyway. So, it's a Go Weaver attack. 
I'm a big fan of it. Uh, Rage spells and Valks are just brutal, very devastating. I know they're a really popular Town Hall 10, but very effective at Town Hall 9 also. So, Golem's in, Wallbreaker's coming in. This didn't go exactly the way I wanted. Um, I would have preferred these Golems to kind of split up. They both went to one side, but I think I lucked out and my King kind of went to the opposite side of them eventually here. So, sending in Clan Castle, Wizards, rest of the Valks. Got a little path for them. So, Inferno's locked on. Gave them just a little bit of time. And froze Infernos and uh, Expos on both sides just to give a little bit of time and then started raging. So as you can see, King took one side, uh, the Golems took the other side. As it worked out, it didn't work out too bad because this Expo ended up locking on Golems on the right side. And that kind of kept everything going here. Uh... At this point, I mean, I'm just watching. I'm watching my queen. Uh, I need to see her when she starts getting shot that she doesn't get taken out. So I let her finish off the archer tower, and then I activate her ability. So you can see I still got a golem left. He's running off to nowhere. I don't know where he's going. He decides to come back. So, I mean, easy clear at this point. That's it. I'll just speed that up. So, what that was was a Town Hall 9 attacking a very rushed Town Hall 8 base. It says it's Town Hall 10, but in all honesty, everything's Town Hall 8 levels except for an extra air defense, two level 1 Inferno Towers, two level 1 Expos. So, the issue is, this clan, his offense was total garbage, so he couldn't do much on us. He attacked with dragons on me and got two stars. Their number two's the same way. They rushed to level 10 and did not, didn't do offense. So in this game, offense matters more than defense. So, uh, I mean, if he had done a Town Hall 9.5 doing this, uh, he'd probably be okay. Or actually, he'd be at 8.5. He shouldn't have went to 10 was the issue. So, that was my two strong attacks. Uh, yeah, we just, we tried to play it smart. Everybody was trying to take things. We Our strategy is, the idea is that the top five players take roughly the top eight to nine enemy bases. Very little overlap if you can afford it. It doesn't always work out that way, but when it does, it allows everybody else to drop significantly to where it's easy three stars for just about everybody. So where we start is I focus on our Town Hall 9 that we want to attack a Town Hall 8 with. We'll have him take out two of them and figure out where we can go from there. Who's going to attack where, whether we're holding attacks with our top guys, whether we're um, having other people attack up but not very often so uh, I see so many people so many clans that are attacking with their bottom players first and they want to attack up you know everybody's attacking their level or mirrors and it just doesn't make any sense plan out your attacks so that okay maybe your your ones at plan one and two your number two is going to attack three but holding an attack for number two there's your overlap well now your three is attacking four and five your four is attacking six and seven your five's attacking eight and nine. Boom, you get your five tech, five bases attacking the top nine. So, I mean, at that point, you know, the bases start to get quite a bit easier. So, that was our strategy for war. Seemed to work out pretty good this war. I mean, we do it most wars, but it doesn't always work out that way. I mean, you see, last war, or the last war, we did not fare as well, but it was a tougher clan. Uh, we had a lot of problems up top. We actually had two players didn't attack for us in our top three, which really hurt us. So we probably could have tied and may maybe won on destruction had uh, things gone a little bit differently, but it would have still been tough. They were a pretty good clan. So anyway, that was our my what I consider our two better attacks this war. Uh, there were a bunch of good attacks, solid attacks, just... That dragon attack, knocking everything out quick, was a 
a good Town Hall 9 versus Town Hall 8 attack. So, there you have it.